Miranda Saves with the City of San Antonio's Human Resources Department. And this is Job of the Week. Today, I have with me my friend Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Good. And she's one of the City of San Antonio's Parking Enforcement Officers. And she's here to talk to us about a job. What job are we talking about today, Cynthia? A uh, Parking Enforcement Officer. Oh, great. Um, I see this really awesome bike and I see your really nifty uniform. So I take it that you're one of our current parking enforcement officers. Yes, I am. I've been here for two years. I was a parking ambassador. Oh, great. So tell us a little bit more about the parking enforcement officer opportunity. Okay. Well, first, um, you get to ride your bike, which is a good exercise for you. You deal with a lot of uh, citizens, uh, tourists. Um, it's fun. It's great. Well, you get to be outdoors, you're being active. So when you're um, out there and you're being a parking enforcement officer, what are the kinds of things that you do and you're responsible for? Uh, we're responsible for um, issuing citations for different violations as far as, um, say for instance, a vehicle parked the opposite direction, um, parking in a no parking zone, um, things like that. Okay, so it sounds like you're tasked with making sure that the tourists and the citizens and everyone downtown are following the rules of the road and the city of San Antonio's ordinances when it comes to parking and, and being downtown with a vehicle. Right, as well as their safety. Oh, safety, and safety is such a big, big, important it part is of your job. very it's much. So important. Yes, it That's is. That's so great. So what do you think makes an ideal candidate for being a parking enforcement officer? Um, uh, I, I could imagine obviously having good customer service skills. Oh, absolutely. That's one of the first requirements is <laughs> to ha be very customer oriented and, uh, you know, um, to their needs, actually, oh, to have to their okay. needs and uh, however else they need help. So definitely helping out customers and having a good eye for detail and being able to spot when people need help? Yes. Mm -hmm. and in different ways. I would imagine since you're on the bike and there's a lot of things going on, that you also have to um, have your head on the swivel and kind of be quick with taking action and making decisions? Right, it's safety is, you know, we're always looking back to see if someone stops us, we, you know, pull over in a safe way um, and whatever they need, we try to help them out as much as we can in any way that we can and if we don't know, we'll ask, try to get the answer for them. Great. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about the training that you went through to become a parking <laughs> enforcement officer? Yes, it's, it's um, well, when you first start, your training is with a, a, another officer mm -hmm. as far as a bike training that's um, that they put you through. Um, that's a little tough. <laughs> yes, it is. I can say that because I just went through it. And um, you do some things that you didn't think you could do and accomplish and it's great. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. So it sounds like not only do you get training on the different laws and parking laws and safety rules and regulations that the city of San Antonio is trying to enforce, but it also you also get training on the actual bicycle. Absolutely, yes. And they will not let you do anything that isn't safe, which is great and they're good to you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I can't ride a bike. So if I were to apply for this position, I would definitely need that bicycle training. Yes, you would. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers about this position? It's it's a it's a good job. It's fun, and, and um, like I said, I'm an outdoorsy person, so I love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank Cynthia. you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Well, in addition to what Cynthia said, the ideal candidate for this position should also have a GED or high school diploma, at least six months of experience um, working in a job where they're interacting with the public. And of course, a Class C driver's license and experience riding a bike, it helps. But as Cynthia mentioned, there's training involved. So, you know, if you're like me, you can still apply. It's okay. If you're interested in this job, then I encourage you to go onto our website at www.sanantonio.gov forward slash careers and apply. Also, if you like this video, then I encourage you to click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and subscribe. See you next week. Thank you.